I'm home. I am headed back to Utah from Arizona. I just spent the last four days down there. I got to go to a wedding. You're gonna see kind of the vlog that I did uh, in a second, but I just wanted to kind of explain the chain of events and what happened and then show you the things that happened because this video is kind of all over the place. So I started off a little bit like this. This has become the famous place to stop for gas before road trips. Right there. All right, next stop, the Chevron in Fillmore. Uh, Chevron, usually there's t-shirts inside that are like, they have like animal designs and stuff all on them. I looked, there wasn't anything cool. Used the bathroom, but uh, we're gonna get back, heading back to on the road again. Next stop, St. George. Baby, it is super warm, super nice. Gas is too expensive, but we're here in St. George for stop number two, but like first, like big, good stop. I stopped by this place, it's called Frost Top, I believe is what it's called. It's on St. George Boulevard. If you've never been to St. George, highly recommend this place. They're like a burger place uh, with burger and fries. Um, it's not like anything like, it's not like anything crazy or like so amazingly good, but it's like pretty, pretty good. So after I ate that food in St. George, I headed straight to Vegas. And in Vegas, I, I met up with my friend Pius. This is the kid that I used to FaceTime in the old vlog series. FaceTime Pibbers. Making a FaceTime call to Pibbers. Pibbers. This has become a Pippa's vlog now. Very right nice box of Coca-Cola right there. That Taco Bell Cantina serves alcohol and it's a Baja Blast and it's like, imagine like the seat is like that tall. It's like a hundred ounces, a Baja Blast with alcohol. Very lit, very nice. We drove to Paris, Kaden? No way, Paris! Paris, wow, wow, very nice. Nice, I like, I like, I like. And I basically went straight to, to Scottsdale, spent the night with my uncle. I pretty much went right to bed because I was really tired from driving about six hours. Arizona, that's where I'm standing. Scottsdale, my uncle's house, just slept. It's about 8.52, showered, got ready. I need to eat, go grab some stuff. After Scottsdale, I went to Tucson, and this was the cool part, because I spent two years in Tucson, and I got to see some places that I haven't seen before in two years and below, and it was really cool. Stop number one in Tucson. I lived in this apartment complex for, I think about three months, something, this one right here, uh, on the corner of Ina Road and Mona Lisa Road. <laughs> <laughs> this was a nice apartment complex compared to the other ones that I lived in. On this road right here, I got a ride in a Hellcat Challenger. Lived here for three months in this complex right here. <laughs> I got in a car crash right here. Well, kind of I did. Some lady, she, she hit me about right here. Lived in these apartments for three months. Apartment complex number one. I lived here for three months, and this was the first apartment that I ever lived in when I came to Arizona. All the rules. <laughs> and last but not least, the best part of the entire trip, the whole main reason why I went down. So I made it here to Benson last night. I had to go the long way after Sierra Vista because there was a crash on the main highway that's right here. So I didn't get down into Benson till like around maybe eight or nine. But I'm here now, just woke up. Uh, this is my second home. Idiot head. Oh. I loved it from the second I got here. 
I hated the fact that it was COVID and it was done like that way. But as far as the people and the place, I freaking love this place. I was invited to a wedding down there, so that's why I went. The wedding was really cool. Uh, didn't film anything really just because I wanted to just have quality time there without having camera constraints and worrying about making a video. Goodbye. Goodbye second home. Benson, you have been good to me. You were you were always good to me. Uh, but this trip was, was just as good as the time that I spent the whole six months here. Sad. It's always sad leaving. It was sadder leaving as a missionary for some reason. But even now, it's still really sad. Again, I don't know what else to say, so uh, enjoy this little outro sunset clip thing. <laughs>